Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a the bun woman inspired look. When she has the up to we kind of like the knotted bun and some pieces like hanging out in the front. So and her kind of natural makeup. So if you want to see how it could, just keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to do is just apply like a very thin natural layer of foundation because her um, look in the movie is really natural. She don't have much makeup on. And before, like, I already applied the Kiko glowing potion just to make, uh, get the natural glow on my skin to make it look like natural, you know? Just applying it with like a beauty blender sponge because to make it more natural looking. Then I'm just going to use a concealer just to cover up some spots that I got. Just take a little bit under my eyes just to kind of brighten them. Not too much just because you want it to look natural. Then for a cheek I'm gonna use like a cream blush from Kiko in the color which rose this was a limited edition one but i'm sure you can find like a lot of other cream blushes that has like a rosy tint do you still want to make like the natural flushed kind of cheeks then i'm just gonna set that with the kiko powder just like very lightly lightly just take a little powder just dab it around just to make sure the foundation doesn't move then gonna apply like a little bit of highlighter just to get the natural glow again just on the cheek cheekbones this is one from elf it's the big brush but the one that looks like the highlighter the name is not on it just a little bit for the eyebrows I'm just gonna use the essence make me brow uh, eyebrow gel just because if you get everything natural so not really need any harsh lines just like that just very natural very easy very simple just gonna apply like a slightly bronze contour kind of thing just use like the sleek one just like barely anything just to get like a little bit definition but she barely have anything on her face then as an eyeshadow she just barely had any eyeshadow so I'm just going to use the Maybelline color tattoo in metallic pomegranate just very slightly just put it on your lid and just blend it out very nice she had like a purpley kind of just very natural so I'm just going to use this and like blend it out really well on the lid just so like it's barely there like this it's just like barely any color but that's what she wore and just like a slight just like a little bit of mascara and on the lips I'm gonna use the Rimmel Lasting Finish Color Rush in the color yeah what's the color keep moving Just gonna put in a thin layer on the bottom one, just like this. And I will say this is basically the makeup she wore, like through the whole movie, pretty much, except at one scene she wore like a bright red lipstick. And now I'm gonna do the hair. The first thing, just like she has a little shorter hair than me, so I'm just gonna put like take the very short kind of baby hairs that I have just kind of put those in the front just gonna curl those later too mm -hmm. 
the rest of my hair I'm gonna put back just like this put like an um side part just gonna form it like that put it in a ponytail then I'm gonna just curl these pieces like put it away from your face get the volume just kind of want to brush them all out just to make sure And then take, then take the remaining part of the hair into like elastic band, like this. I will loosen the upper knot. Take some bobby pin. Kind of try to loosen it. And there you have kind of like this knotted bun kind of look. Of course, I'm not gonna like put exactly like you did, but like more like inspired kind of look. And this makeup look is kind of like good for every day because like it's very natural and like a very easy updo. So this was my Bond Girl inspired makeup look. Hope you like it. It's very easy and simple. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And did you like the Spectre movie? I really liked it. I'm not really a big movie fan. But I managed to sit all those a couple hours at the cinema. And it was very nice. And of course I loved all the nice cars in the movies. So please check out my Twitter, Instagram links down below. And please subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!